Hey guys, so for this piece I did something a little bit different in terms of my style. It's not necessarily different, it's more like I just haven't really created a piece in this style yet. I've done a couple sketches of various characters in this kind of style, but I've never really created a full piece. So I decided to create this piece to try and kind of convey my spirituality into art. I wanted to have a visual of it. I have a deep connection with nature. I'm very spiritual. I'm very open and aware of that kind of stuff. I meditate as often as I can. I, you know, connect with the forest and the elements as often as possible. Uh, it's, it's actually my religion. I wanted to, to really show my connection to the earth and the nature and everything involved with that into a piece. I also wanted this piece to have rather bright colors. So I worked on making this happen with the bushes and trees primarily and making sure the colors were really vibrant and really popped. I wanted the environment to be eye-catching, but I also wanted the figure to kind of stand out from the vibrant colors. And I wasn't entirely sure how I was, how I was gonna go about that at first, because when I first did this sketch in my sketchbook, all I knew was that I wanted the patterns on this goddess's face to be a really deep, but pretty blue color. And so I, I felt like if I did regular skin color, it wouldn't have a strong effect. I feel like the skin tone would be too light and would blend in with the really bright and vibrant colors of the bushes too much. So I, I also didn't want the character to have too dark of colors because I didn't want to take away the positive and light energies that I wanted this character to give off. So This led me to the decision to make her the light purple color. She still stands out against the background, but conveys the emotions that I want her to convey. That's kind of the idea of how I got the concept created. When I first did the line work, I actually <laughs> was still kind of getting into the flow of creating pieces. I actually did the line work for this piece a couple weeks ago, 
and I'm just now getting around to actually completing it. I had actually forgotten to press record <laughs> when I went to do the line work, so I unfortunately don't have any footage of the line work process. And I'm kind of disappointed about that, I'm kind of bummed about it. So that's the overall gist of this piece. Uh, it was it was pretty simple to make. It was you know pretty straightforward. It was just a piece that I really just wanted to create. I didn't I didn't want to try something new with it. You know I I just really wanted to just have fun with a piece, relax, and enjoy it. And this piece was so simplistic, but I loved doing it. It was because it was simplistic, you know? I, I tend to do very intricate line work or patterns or what have you, and so to kind of pull it back and do just a basic outline, very limited line work, and mostly just have fun playing with the watercolors. It was it was a really nice change of pace. I hope you all enjoyed this piece. I hope you enjoyed watching the creation of it. Uh, I had a lot of fun making it, as you guys can probably tell by this video. This piece is available in my shop, as well as prints will be available in the future.
Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button and go ahead and check out some of my other videos if you like what you see. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button because I post new videos every Friday. See you guys next week.